The fight over the Colorado River's water continues. And today, the spotlight's on the Navajo Nation, which is bringing an 1868 treaty to the Supreme Court. Oral arguments begin today. The tribe says this treaty, quote, promised both land and water sufficient for the Navajos to return to a permanent home in their ancestral territory. Yet the country's largest Native American reservation says it doesn't have enough water and that approximately a third of residents don't have running water. And while the exact causes of the issue were unclear, the tribe says the government broke its promise to supply a sufficient amount of water. So they're looking for the Interior Department to assess their water needs and build a strategy to provide more. The federal government, as well as Arizona, California, and Nevada, disagrees. The government says it hasn't violated any specific law or treaty. And the states say the tribe's argument is invalid now that the Supreme Court has exclusive jurisdiction over disputes involving the Colorado River. This story is a media miss for the right. Significantly more left-leaning outlets have covered the case. Here at Straight Arrow News, we work to provide context. A decades-long drought has brought the Colorado River to historically low levels in recent months. Seven states in the western part of the U.S. are left disputing over the water. They were supposed to reach an agreement on reduced consumption by the end of January, but failed because California held out, developing its own proposal. The Federal Bureau of Reclamation will consider both proposals, but now the Navajo Nation is asking for evaluation regarding its water supply. Listen, at Straight Arrow, we don't care if you're liberal, conservative, independent, or something else, because we're here for you. And you deserve not just the facts, but the unbiased truth. 